Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our uh, Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes Let's Play. So, uh, last time around, we were gearing up for our war against Nevo, um, after having defeated uh, Tarth, and of course everybody else, uh, up to this point, except for Gildan, who we can't seem to track down uh, their last city. But uh, Nevo is our like last remaining threat. And uh, as we were doing so, Uther and I believe Galen were kind of roaming around this weird desert -y area, finding all sorts of treasure um, and fighting fell dragons and stuff. So uh, we're going to continue on with that today. We should be able to start our war with Nevo um, at some point this episode. It's just a matter of getting our um, armies into position at this point. And uh, I think for the most part they are. It's just Uther and uh, Galen that need to kind of shift back east to the front lines. So we were able to find a valuable item in one of these places. And it's an elemental wand. Let's go ahead and uh, hit OK. And then we're going to go into our trade screen. And is that any good? Yes, it's very good. Um, so, Belagar... I think you could make pretty effective use of that. And so there you go. There's your elemental wand. Um, let's see. How does that look on you? Better than uh, the saintly care pace, unfortunately. Um, yeah, you know what? That's still an upgrade over what he was wearing. So I'm going to have him just go with that. And we'll try to find him a cloak. But eventually I'll get him something better than some than that you know something with nine defense, and uh, we'll give this to um, one of our lady paladins, of which we have like two at this point. So uh, let's see. I think I'll have you go claim that one since you're closer, and Galen, your army may as well just hang out on the border over here because you're never gonna get over there in time. Actually, you're the one that fought the Fell Dragon, so you're probably going to need to hang back and uh, gain some more troops. Let's see. Uh, Clooney, you were on guard duty. I'm going to have to pull some of your men, though, to go reinforce Galen's, and hopefully the roads will get... Oh, God, that's one hell of a journey, isn't it? Um, That is almost not even worth doing. Wow. Yeah, I mean... Unless there's a land bridge here. Uh, you know what? We'll try it. Because they can get to here in a single turn. So we'll find out if there's a land bridge there. And uh, if there is, I may plop a watchtower down just to connect it. But obviously, um, she's not going to be in any sort of fighting shape for a while until we're able to get her some more troops. But let's push her this way in the next couple turns and we'll set her up. Uh, on this front here because there's a little bit of purple showing there and then Uther will push in over here we could actually use another army we just don't have anybody to command it um, other than Clooney but obviously Clooney you know, doesn't have any troops and we don't have time necessarily to build him a new army uh, let's see you guys are ready to go so this is going to work out a little bit differently than we initially planned. Soliag will go one way, Ariel will go the other. I initially intended to send two armies this way and one that way, but, you know, things happen. And that's no longer feasible. So we'll make do. Everybody's moved to their full extent, correct? Oh, well, you guys should be on guard duty, and I think I took you off by selecting you. Uh, I imagine that's the same case here. So you guys will remain on guard duty until further notice. And I'm sure there's a city in need of orders, and that's why we haven't advanced yet. No, there is not. So, uh, one of my armies still has uh, a little bit of movement left. Clooney himself, of course. Uh, well, um... Just stay right there. Yeah, I don't need you to do anything else. I don't really have anything else for you to do. A level 3 hero by himself is not going to be very effective. Although, I might be able to use him to capture watchtowers. So maybe I could have him do that. 
I'll send him that way and have him take these towers because there's no towns over here as far as we can tell. They're all this way. So uh, maybe Ariel hits this one, Soliag hits that one, and Clooney grabs some towers. That makes sense. I think we could do that. Uh, it looks like we have some construction projects finishing, but everybody should have something to do one way or the other. Um, Scarth has finished some swordsmen. Uh, the issue being it's going to be absolute hell <coughs> excuse me getting them where they need to be so you know we'll see what we can do but this is not going to be fun uh, yeah start marching that way and uh, we'll see what happens let's see um, before the turn advances yeah I wanted you to go grab that I wanted you to grab that okay uh, oh there's another one over there um, Galen, you are heading back to this area, roughly. So go ahead and get on that. Um, Lancers. Well, hold on. Let's take control of these guys first, because this will kind of dictate where everybody else goes. I'm thinking that connects. So what we'll need to do is maybe in Yithrin, we'll train some pioneers, and we'll just drop a watchtower like here, and maybe another one there. And we should be able to build a road through here, which will really, really speed things up for us. Because otherwise, we're marching all the way around this. I, I guess it's a lake. I thought it was part of the ocean. But uh, it's looking like a lake now. So we'll need to work around that. Um, even if it doesn't connect here, it's close enough where I can use magic to terraform and connect it myself. So we can make that work. Um, that means that we're going to send everybody that direction. Oh, they can actually join up this turn. Wow, okay. So that's three troops. How many did she need to replenish what she lost? Three, perfect. So that army is rebuilt. Um, she's obviously going to need to heal, but you know that army is at least back to full, full strength numbers-wise. Uh, you guys have all moved. So what are we waiting for? Probably a town. Yes. Alhain. Nothing for you to do, huh? Uh, looks like you got plenty to do, actually. Tower of the Witch. No, I don't want to build that there. Uh, do the crystal mine, then the trove. And the rest I could care less, honestly. Uh, but research is nice. And maybe a tax office. I don't recall the tax office being that effective, though. Yeah. Only if you're producing wealth, which... Uh, I guess they're not that far off of. I'm going to do that last. Do everything else ahead of it, because when they finish the tax office, then they can start producing wealth. I feel like that makes sense. Um, we got a barracks done in Fargan's Keep. So I'm building a fort now. Um, let's see here. We have two of these quests now, and they look to be identical. But it's not showing me where they are. And that makes this kind of difficult. Because I'd like to do it, but I don't know where to go to make it happen. What did we get this time? Ring of Storms. Imbues the wearer's attack with lightning. Um, let's take a look at that. Is that significantly better than anything? Oh, it's only one, huh? Well, then we'll trade it. Uh, let's see. Oh, he can't equip it, though. Not high enough level? I feel like Belagar is level 6. Whatever, it's not not a huge concern. Can you make it to that cave? Oh, there's still more. So much loot. I guarantee one of those will be a fight, though, if not both. Okay, you know about siege weapons? Good for you. What good is that going to do when you're on the defensive? Um, Avalon needs something to do. A crystal mine would certainly be useful. Um, a mill would be good, too. But that's going to take a while. Do the crystal mine first and then the mill. And the rest, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as it gets done. I actually meant to do the irrigated farm there, but sure. Whatever you want to do, just make sure it happens. Queue some stuff up in advance. Uh, Yithrin's doing a grocer. Let's see. How long would it take you to crank out a pioneer for me? One, one season. You know what? 
Give me two of them real quick. What was that about? I tried to click this. There we go. And make that two. Perfect. So we'll get two pioneers real quick, and that'll allow us to build roads through here. Um, you guys can go join up with her. Uh, apparently it's going to take you a while to get through there, but that's okay. It's still faster than the alternative, at least I think. That the alternative had roads, so it might it might end up being a wash, but we'll find out. Um, so these swordsmen don't need to go all the way to Galen, which means they can probably just join up with Clooney. And uh, I think the same is true for these lancers then, unless Uther needs reinforcements, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. No, no, he does not. So um, it looks like Clooney will have a small army after all. Oh, and I see yellow. Ah, we got a fight. Okay, but this should be pretty easy. Uh, yeah, Uther, go ahead and push through. I... Oh, I did give you the armor. You're still wearing it in the thumbnail, though. Let's see. I'll rush you to... Here. No, can't. Then there. And hit that crag spawn for me. Not bad. 17 damage for a single character. Uh, again, the heroes don't hit that hard. They're more like support characters, but um, still, I'll take it. And we'll rush these swordsmen as far forward as we can get them. The lancers will obviously beat them there. And with you, feel free to attack, I guess, with your new staff. Seven damage is not terrible. Um, let's see. Let's slide you in over there, and that'll allow you to attack on the diagonal. And I get the feeling the Lancers are going to probably clean up this entire battle before um, the Swordsmen get to join in. I'm actually going to push these guys all the way to here and kill this off. Because then I assume a Swordsman can get there and take care of that. Perfect. And that will be the end. Fantastic. So, uh, Beligar leveled up. He's level 13, so I don't know why he can't use that ring. I Maybe he has too many other things equipped and he needs to unequip something. That might have been it. Um, So, I don't recall what I was working on with you. Hmm. Let's see. Initiative is always great. But we could make him do more spell damage. That's not particularly useful, though. I wish it was more clear on what exactly spell mastery meant. Does that just mean all of his spells are more effective, so like his healing spells heal more? Uh, or we could give him more spells to pull from. Like, Geomancy would be nice. Make his summons tougher. That'd be good, too. Make his healing better. Let's go. Let's get some geomancy up in here. That would be useful, I feel like. And we'll start pushing toward that. I think Uther's going to go deal with this new uh, Gildan thing over here, now that we've found it. And let's see. Your army will be at full strength very shortly. Oh, actually, no. It's saying eight turns. The pioneers will be there building watchtowers before that. Um... So, let's see. You've moved. Galen, you're on guard duty until further notice. Go ahead and heal up. Uh, let's see. Those Lancers have moved. Oh, apparently everybody's moved. Okay. Uh, and we have absorbed an Earth Shard. And we should be getting some Pioneers, among other things. So, where is this Earth Shard? Right here? Next to New Hollis? Okay. Well, uh, let's queue that up. We'll obviously want to take advantage of that. Um, that looks to be outside of our area of influence for now. Whenever this levels up, it should fall into it, though. Fort Mead needs something to do. Um, build a storehouse, and then beyond that, I'm not sure what I'll have you do. So that's all of those taken care of. And then we have our first pioneer down. I need you guys, or you girls, because they are female. Um... You know what? Do I have the ability to terraform yet, or is that something we were still working toward? 
Let's see. I don't think I do. It would be under world, world spells. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. That's a shame. Not that I couldn't just throw a watchtower down in the center. It's just I would prefer to do it off to the side or something. But it, it really doesn't matter, I guess. I'll build one here and then the other over there or something. But yeah, they're moving one... One square at a time, which is not very efficient. Okay. Let's see. Hope has grown to level 3. Um, again, I like going strike garrisons, but in this case it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be training anything all the way over here. So there's the other pioneer. And in fact... Um... Let's move you first. And then we'll move you along behind them. We'll set this one up, and that should make it quicker for them to move. We've got more swordsmen done there. They're going to go join Clooney. And it looks like we should be able to train up a couple of lancers. He's got one plus a swordsman, and we have more swordsmen headed that way. So yeah, some lancers would be nice. But I think Scarth builds them more effectively, if I remember right. So, I mean, two turns is pretty good. We can only do one because of the horses. Uh, then queue up some more swordsmen, and we'll just always be training one or the other. What is Scarth currently working on? Swordsmen, okay. I guess that's fine, yeah. And you have a bunch of other stuff you need to build as well, so... Probably for the best that you get that over with now. Let's have you claim this treasure, and that's the end of all the treasure there. The champion's helm. Ooh, that looks badass. All right, let's um, let's go into our equipment and six defense minus one initiative plus one accuracy per level. Let's definitely throw that on because that looks sweet. Um, he needs some more awesome looking armor that matches that but that's a good start and then we're going to march you up this way to figure out what's happening up there hopefully it's not a town if it is it's not that big a deal we can take it it's just more work um, you're going to continue to be on guard duty let's see you're ready to go join him oh it's already advancing okay well then I would have liked to build a outpost this turn, but fine. It's going to make me wait. Oh, man. These uh, turn advances are getting real slow. So let's see. We're going to move you there. Throw down an outpost. And that'll build a road, at least part way. And then you guys need to get to... Honestly, that should be close enough. And yeah, they're going real slow still. And that's going to advance our turn again. I guess everybody else had orders already. Okay, so let's see. I think we have Swordsmen and Lancers finished. They're going to join Clooney. Those Swordsmen are going to be taking forever to get here. But that's okay. Better than not at all, right? And then these Lancers, it'll take them probably like three turns, yeah, to get there. And then a bunch of buildings are done. Um, Gildan Shard, the capital, finished another thing. Uh, ooh, a foundry, yeah, build a foundry. And they just finished the tower of... I don't remember what it was, but it was one of the towers. And so... Oh, Athica, I think, finished theirs too. Build a butcher, and then produce wealth. Grocer done in Yithrin and College in Tanticrete. Okay. I still don't know where we should build the Tower of the Witch. Huh. Um, it doesn't really make sense over here. Maybe in Yithrin? Yithrin was the capital of one of our greatest enemies. So it, it makes sense that it would be a great city. Although it's not that big. 
It's not nearly as big as our capital, but I guess none of these cities really are. Um, right, so Uther, you're kind of wandering into the wilderness here to see what's happening. Okay, so they do have another town there. They do have another town there. And, wow, okay. So after clearing this, it became an incredibly fertile place for building new cities. That's really interesting. Uh, keep pushing you through. And let's get you over there. We'll get this road built. We'll get it done. Um, go ahead and keep moving. Is there anything else Silver Keat needs to work on? No, I don't want it. I don't want the Tower of the Witch built there. Uh, so you've all moved, you've moved, and you've moved. So somebody needs something to build. There it is. Hope. Um, let's see. An armor. You have plenty to work on. Do the mason first. That's going to allow you to build everything else a little bit quicker. Um, and honestly, the rest doesn't matter that much. I guess a, a crystal trove makes the most sense because that will benefit the entire kingdom rather than uh, some of these, you know, upgrade things that will probably never get utilized. Uh, school would certainly help as well. Um, hedge walls gardens and none of it makes that much of a difference we just absorb some iron ore let's get that queued up as well is that gonna happen here yeah you know what let's bump that up because that's fairly quick and that again helps the entire kingdom and we'll pan back over here and I was really hoping we would get this war started today but there's so much that we still need to do um Almost there. Almost there. Alright, and that's going to advance our turn, apparently. I'm wondering if right there is fine. Is that close enough? Or we could build it next to the clay pit. I think that's what we'll do. We'll build it here. Um, oh, good. Our research is done. So now we can upgrade our shrines to temples. Which is going to add a whole lot more construction uh, to our cities. We'll keep on the magic path for now. I don't think there was much left for us in the other ones. Arcane armor. Champion's armor. So we can actually make or I guess buy champion's armor for Uther. Let's do that because I'd like to get him some. Especially to go along with that helmet. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. It's going to take a while but I'd like to uh, knock that out. And then we'll do arcane weapons. All right, so pioneers jump in over there and uh, throw down an outpost. Oh, it didn't connect here. Why would it not do that? Um, well, do me a favor and upgrade this, and we'll build a high tower there, followed by some stables. And then we'll do the same here so that we can move through here more effectively. <clears throat> Alright, Fort Meade again needs something to do. Uh, I guess we'll upgrade the temple there, or the shrine there to a temple. You have plenty to do. Um, Tantacrete needs something to do. No, don't train. Build. Um, I mean, I don't care what order they get done in so long as they all get done. So do that, and then Hope is working on Iron Mine. And we got more swordsmen. More swordsmen, so obviously they're going to go join Clooney. I think um, we can produce another Lancer now. So let's queue that up. Perfect. And how are we doing on income? We're still making plenty of money, so I'm not too worried about training too many troops. And, okay, a bunch of stuff is happening. Another clay pit has been absorbed. Um, I'll queue that up. I don't particularly care when it gets done. All right. So it's just a matter of moving troops around, I guess. So Uther, I'm going to have you attack. And Markin is here. Of course he is.
All right, so this is the last stronghold for their faction. Um, so obviously we want to deal with them as quickly as possible. Uther, get in here. And I'm actually going to rush you into contact with mines, and then we're going to burning hands the lot of them. It actually hit Giselle pretty hard. And then we'll see if we can get these swordsmen into combat. I'm imagining that, imagining that we probably can. Let's do that. Go after Raza. That should be a one-hit kill. Oh, not quite. Um, over here, we're going to do the same. I'm going to rush them up next to Uther. And we're going to target Markin, I think. 17 damage. Not great, but it's something. And then Belagar. Huh. Go ahead and buff Uther. Who did you cast that on? That was weird. Alright, Lancers, kill these guys, and then I'll have you come around and help on that side. These Lancers, um... Do me a favor and kill one of their heroes. Kill Giselle, just so I don't have to worry about any of their heroes doing anything wacky. Push these guys up straight ahead to deal with that militia. And we'll do the same with these. Although, putting them on the flank actually isn't a terrible idea. Yeah, let's do that. Go kill that militia. And then these guys might just be able to get into position there. Fantastic. Maybe he should have gone for the kill on Raza, because he can cast spells. But I don't think he knows any spells that are particularly dangerous. Eh, that was kind of dangerous. I mean, it didn't do that much damage, but it hit a lot of units. And, oh, he just teleported. Oh, he swapped places with one of my units. Oh, Gift of Iron. Okay. Got it. So that was a power, uh, charge up thing that he had to do. Okay, swing around here. Let's all gang up on Markin. 32 damage. He's pretty resilient. I'll give him that. These Lancers are going to slide back here and kill Nines. Just to make sure that she doesn't get after Belagar. And then, apparently, those guys wanted to attack some Lancers head-on. I don't know why. You probably want to avoid Lancers. Um, maybe get Raza there? Fantastic. That would have one-shotted him the first time. Um, and then it looks like we're going to do a four-way attack on Markin, which is not going to be enough to kill him. His defense, I guess, is too high. But maybe Uther can get him. Nice. So down he goes, their faction leaders, out of the fight. Um, we will cast aid on, actually, on Belgar himself. Let's have you guys finish off those guardians. And it looks like they just have range units along the back left. So this should be uh, pretty easy. Oh, I meant to click them. Whoops. I guess it doesn't matter. These Lancers will finish off the other one. And let's see. You will actually be able to get in there and end it. So do it. Cool. That was really easy. No level ups, but uh, not all that much damage either. So I'll take it. Faction destroyed. That's what I'd like to see. Um, we'll hold on to this, but that is going to need a new name if we keep it for any extended amount of time. Because I can't pronounce that. And let's see. The first thing... Oh, there's no... We can't cast any spells on that. That's going to be a problem. We'll, we'll start with the bell tower. Um, that's really all I can do there. And so that just leaves Nevo. Nevo is our only enemy, and we'll go ahead and declare war in just a second here. Another Lancer done. Let's get them moving toward Clooney. We don't need to send Clooney right away, so we're good to start this now. Um, let's see. Oh. There's a lot of information here I haven't been looking at, but I don't know that it matters much. This is just kind of an overview of all your towns and forts and conclaves. But, uh, you know, you don't really need it. Just nice to have all that information in one place. Um, so, 
we need to go to diplomacy and for some reason it is escaping me ah right click on the faction I declare war I mean it of course I had to come to this you're the only faction standing in my way Ariel you are gonna kill those knights and then those mages Probably should have just gone directly for the town. I don't know that he could have gotten there in one turn, though, anyways. And... Soliag? No, I'm going to have you help out on this side. Can you get to the town? No. Alright. Clooney, um, you're going to wait for those lancers. Actually, you know what? Go take the thing right now. Or at least move toward it. Because the lancers will catch up with you fairly quickly. Uh, the swordsmen are kind of a different story, but they'll get there eventually. And yeah, we've declared war, blah, blah, blah. You guys are supposed to be moving to here now. You've moved, you've moved, you've moved, and you've moved. So all of them have moved. However, uh, over here... This army needs to get moving this way. That doesn't seem like a very efficient way to go about that, but sure, if that's what you think is best, I will, I guess, defer to your judgment. Um, and then Uther's army needs to get moving. We'll move them uh, north to attack that city. And, oh, they're trying to train up some knights. That's going to be a while, though. But we'll definitely try to uh, prevent them from training up any more knights. Iron Hammer could produce more lancers. And I don't see any reason not to. And from there, um, I should probably see if they need to make any other upgrades. Because they do have, I think, some shrines that need to become temples. Maybe we'll do that after those lancers. Wow, you guys are being real slow about those buildings, aren't you? Is there anything that would... Uh... Huh. No, unfortunately... Nothing is going to lower the unrest there. Other than time, so... We'll just have to leave that be. Bastion, do you need to make any other upgrades? Apparently there's a clay pit there I clicked on. Sure. Turn that into something... And is there anything else you need to build? Yes. Air temples. Life temples. All that comes first. Uh, I think that's probably true in the capital too. Yeah. Need to upgrade that. And Iron Hammer, I'm sure you have some as well. Uh, just an earth temple, actually. And we can't use that ogre layer. I should probably just raise it, but... For some reason, I just don't want to, um, and we'll queue that up. How? Why has that not been built sooner? I must have missed it or something. Anyways, uh, let's see. Okay, everybody has something to build, so we need to move armies now. Let's attack here. And this should be fairly quick. I'm going to jump Uther straight into the fight. We'll throw some burning hands on there. And ooh, a crit for 45. That's what I like to see. Alright, swordsmen, go ahead and move up. Finish them off. Do those guys actually have decent armor? Well, they're dead now, so I guess it doesn't matter, but it actually looked like they had proper armor on, whereas everybody else is in, like, you know, more clothing than armor. Um... Go ahead and throw a spell at... You're most likely to kill them. Let's see what that does. 14, that's not bad. It's 26 to kill, but, you know, every little bit helps. Let's rush you guys through to there. And we'll have you attack that militia. For 66 damage. That's fantastic. Um, let's keep pushing people through. So that we can get up on the uh, enemy archers as soon as possible. And that's not super efficient, but whatever. Lancers, why don't you come around the side? 
or I guess cut through like that and then kill them. And that leaves them with three archers left. So I'm going to move you through here. We'll rush you to there. And that'll be another kill. Oh, not quite. They actually had quite a bit of HP. They're like elite archers. But we've already taken them out of the fight before they've gotten the fire. And they're going to all go after Belagar. None of them are going to have much luck, though. Let's see. I think I can get you into... Yeah, there we go. Into range for a kill. Um, Uther, you can try to finish these marksmen off. Nice. And let's see. Belagar, throw some spells their way. You're obviously not going to kill them, but... It guarantees that we get them in one shot. And I think these Lancers can actually finish it here. Yes. So there we go. Another city falls to Nordheim. And that didn't even really put up a fight, to be honest. Um, we can bless this city, so we will. Not a whole lot else to spend our mana on, anyways. And then we will do pretty much anything that will lower the unrest, so... Oh, I wasn't meaning to fight that right away, but I guess let's do it. I think we're out of time, though, so we'll try to make it fast. Oh, this is just the, the one-off battle, right? Uh, gust of Wind. Let's see. I could try to knock them prone. Eh, hit him with a Lightning Bolt. 15 damage. It's not bad. And then Gilda. Gilda hasn't seen action in quite a while, but she's got her new gear. Oh, dodge. Come on. She's, she's rusty. We'll give her a break. She hasn't fought in a while. Oh, I need to move you closer. Is that enough? No. I think the heroes actually lower the damage when that when we do those group attacks. Let's see, that should be enough. Right? No. They actually have yeah, they have like full chainmail. Not masterwork chainmail, mind you, just the regular stuff, but still that's a lot better than what we've seen on most of the enemies so far. Okay. Um come on, what Alright, I guess we're going into the siege now too. Alright, so this is the last thing we'll do today, unless um, it drags me into another fight or something, but we are well over on time, and I, I don't think I'm really going to bother editing this down too much. Um, this particular series doesn't have a ton of people following it, but there are some who are uh, very dedicated and still watching it, and I imagine you know those people would probably appreciate longer episodes, maybe? I mean, if you don't, feel free to tell me, but... Um, I know this is like by far my least popular series, but one that I'm enjoying and I'd like to see all the way through, especially since we're, you know, pretty far pretty far into it at this point. Like we're definitely nearing the end, so it seems stupid to quit that close. But um Oh really? That one unit's gonna slow these guys down. I'm gonna go around. Oh, this is Soliag. Whoops. I should have just had I have go out, go there. Uh, do you have any spells? No? Okay, pass then. That was a mistake. I thought, for some reason, I saw horse and thought lancer. But yeah, I, I get the feeling that the um, dedicated following that this series still has probably doesn't mind uh, a little bit longer episodes. So this one is going to end up with like 40 minutes. But uh, it's probably fine. Oh, okay. Uh, then rush you over here or something and attack those guys. Attack those guys. There we go. Yeah, I mean, they're slowing us down a little bit because all these units have, like, leather armor at the very least. Even some of these archers do. It's, you know, it doesn't mean much. We're still going to kill them. It's just it takes two hits instead of one. So, yeah, it does bog us down just a little bit. I'm going to move you this way just to get you kind of more in that direction and then finish them off. That'll allow these guys to move a lot quicker. 
And we can get them, I was hoping, there, but that's fine too. What do they, what do they call the hand-to-hand? -hand? That's a long name, jeez. Uh, take that kill. And that should allow everybody to push up a little bit. These Lancers can shoot straight in here and finish off these. I wonder if it's like hand-to-hand -hand champions or something. It starts with CHA, but... I don't know. It's a stupid name for a stupid unit. Alright, Lancers push through. Kill those defenders. And then you should have pretty much free reign after that. Um, ooh, wow. 19 damage to my Lancers. That's actually pretty impressive damage. And that's from City Militia. Whoa, 30. They actually dropped one of them. The thing about City Militia is they tend to have pretty good weapons. That's one thing that we've learned is like they they can hit hard. They just can't take a lot of damage. Uh, let's get you here and we'll gang up on this one. Nice. But yeah, we can't have any more of that. Um... You guys may as well go around. You're never going to get through there. And I don't think Soliag's ever going to see the fight again. Uh, let's squeak you through here. And then I'll rush you to there. And have you attack those marksmen. Okay. Uh, oh, they're firing at somebody somewhere. I wish I could get you through... But you need to be front and center. And unfortunately, uh, you don't have rush, so I can't move you that effectively. Alright, Lancers, get rid of these guys. And that's pretty much the battle. Now they just have archers. And obviously archers don't stand up very well to Lancers or Swordsmen. Although these uh, Marksmen here are actually pretty decent. They're able to take a couple hits before they go down. Uh, mostly, again, do that due to that leather armor that they have. Um, which is not great, but it's obviously far better than nothing. Really? Only 21 damage? Well, they're at half strength. I guess that makes sense. Soliag, keep moving as far as you can move. We'll get you into the fight before the end. Um, let's see. If you go there... You can rush to here and attack them. And then there's no way those guys will get away from you. Uh, you're you're done. Just take the rest of the day off. And unfortunately, Soliag's not going to get to that one. So then it comes down to which Lancer is going to kill these guys first. And apparently it's this one. Oh, but right, half strength. Uh, yeah, let's just wait till the other Lancer comes up. Uh, you could get there, yeah. I guess the swordsmen get to finish it. Cool. So there's another siege victory. Uh, oh, level ups across the board there. Soliag and most of... I think Soliag's a he, right? It's been a while. Uh, oh, those are outdated warriors. I keep forgetting that we have... I knew they were around somewhere, but I didn't see them in the army I thought they were in, and so I think I just assumed that they were gone. But yeah, these level 8 warriors, while pretty good because of all the levels they've accrued, are very outdated in terms of equipment. Alright, so somewhere there's another town under our control. Um, I think it's over here. But we... Really? Is under attack? Come on, let me end this damn episode. Oh, it's Valissa with a deadly army, but going up against my epic army. Alright, so I guess this episode is running a little bit longer. Um, it just seems hellbent on making me continue. So that's what we'll do. Um, we're going to go double attack on Valissa here with Swordsman and almost one shot at her. Ooh, but a pretty nasty counterattack. These Lancers are going to come around the corner and try to wipe out these Featherwind Archers. Nicely done. Um, swordsmen, let's have you march. I'm not going to use the city militia if I can help it. Swordsmen, march on up here. Attack those defenders. I don't know what they were thinking. Like It's one thing to 
attack a city when you have like a stronger force because you're still you know attacking defenses but to attack a stronger force that's dug in in a city it just seems suicidal but maybe they're just keen on getting this campaign over with maybe they recognize that they're defeated and they're just trying to end it quick Soliag um, again you're in the back and I need you in the front so just move as far as you can and we'll try to get you around the side or something I need I need a ranged ability for him city militia just end your turn at least the archers can shoot like you guys are just gonna hide basically all right, kill that unit so we can start moving through there. And that should allow you to push through and get right up in the face of some archers and just start hacking away. Nice. Oh, man. Yard sale with their equipment there. Just scattered it everywhere. Let's have you move to here. I don't know that I'll be able to sneak you through, but we'll try it, even if it ends up wasting that. Nope, we're good. <laughs> Double attack. Oh, so close to getting the kill. Got some mages. They're probably just going to... Yeah, I was going to say, just throw some... Oh, that actually did some damage, but these units have, like, no defense, so that's why. And if they die, so what? Like, honestly, <laughs> you're wasting your effort there. Um, My city archers get to attack back now. Go ahead and attack this unit so I don't have to waste one of my good units' attacks on it. Oh, come on, you're pathetic. Let's get you through. These guys are a bit roughed up after that counterattack, but we'll uh, keep the pressure on. I don't think any of these archers can really hurt them anyways. And let's see. Swordsmen, I need you to move through. Attack those marksmen in the back. Nicely done. We'll try to squeeze you guys through as well. Okay, then go there and attack them since that's your only option. And at least they're off the battlefield now. These Lancers can come around and we'll go here because that's the harder kill. And then anybody should be able to finish them off. Anybody except for these clowns. Uh, you're probably not going to get there. So we'll pass those turns and whoever is closest, which the Lancers are, will get the kill. Alright, and so that defeats um, one of their... Heroes, I don't know if this is the faction leader or who this is. I don't think it's the faction leader. And um, has a rotting wound. That sounds awful. Minus 25 hit points. Immobilized for five turns. And obviously all these troops are killed. Um, we took a bunch of damage on those swordsmen. But uh, otherwise, not that big a deal. Okay. Now, before anything else happens, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I apologize for the length if you guys aren't a fan of longer videos, um, but this one got really out of hand uh, with the start of this war. Probably should have waited for a, a new episode to do that, but whatever. Um, at least we got around to it today, and we're right into the thick of it now. We've already cut a pretty big chunk out of their kingdom. We've taken two towns, um, or two cities, and we're poised to take quite a few more. Ooh, but they do have an army moving in here. Oh no, that's Galen, my bad. It, it looked like it was facing south, so I assumed it was Nevo, but then I noticed the yellow base in her name. And I probably should have realized that sooner. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. Uh, Uther's going to cut east in the next video and take on whatever's here. Galen's going to keep marching north, and uh, everybody over here is going to go northeast and just you know make their way up into this area here. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Fallen Enchantress with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.